So what does that mean? Well, as I said, nine uh -oh. points now separate by I mean the defending champions of Borussia Dortmund uh, second. You'd be a very, very brave man to bet on Dortmund catching Munich come the end of the season. Let's welcome in uh, Jan Arga Fjortov. Jan, I felt that second half was kind of a microcosm of everything that's been wrong with Dortmund this season. Absolutely. Um, I mean, the fact is the Bayern have won the league nine times in a row. That is embarrassing for all the other teams. It's a big compliment to Bayern. It's also embarrassing for uh, for the, the whole Bundesliga. So Dortmund are quite realistic in the targets. They say that we're going to get closer to, to Bayern Munich. They don't say that when we win the title, we're going to get closer. So they fired Favre because he wasn't close enough. OK, fair enough. You do that. Terzic kind of saved them, got winning the cup and then uh, gets the Champions League position. But the way they went on today... That was just embarrassing. I mean, in the highlights, that, that doesn't just do this game fair. Uh, I, I spoke to Nicholas Stark after the game, uh, and I said, I asked him, what did you say to halftime when you were one nil down? And he said, we were just laughing. We couldn't believe it. I mean, Engelkamp, he missed the biggest chance I've seen in the Bundesliga <laughs> this season. They had a, a marginal offside not given, and then suddenly Dortmund was up one nil. So here is Bayern. Bayern lead one nil at Berlin. Do you think they will lose that game, even if they were bad, they would have won 2-0. But Dortmund, with that defender, and Al said it, I mean, Witzel, I mean, I could have passed him now and I'm, I'm 54. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's like that. If you saw that defence before the game, they have uh, Schulz, Pungraric, uh, they have uh, Witzel and they have a Munier. Munier offensively, not so bad. He's improving, better crosses and everything. Hummels out, but Hummels, I mean, he's involved in any goal conceded anyway. They've conceded 26 goals and I mean, they, they concede goals for fun, this team. And, and today, the producer was on his on Erling Holland all the time because he looked more and more frustrated. And why? I, I tell you why. Because his goals have, have been used as a makeup for Dortmund this helps this fall. Because they have big games that they've been terribly at the back. And somehow, he have found a way to score a goals going forward. This is embarrassing for Dortmund. And yes, I love Marco Rosa, great type. Great coach, but he's also responsible for, for that uh, dismal uh, performance at the back. And Emre Chan, he says, yeah, it's the whole team as defence and blah, 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 blah. First of all, you have to start defending as defenders. I think that is a good start. And Berlin, they couldn't believe their eyes. They, they, they created more chance against Dortmund and, as they did against Greuther Fürth. Ali, I know you're not a big gambler, mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll try and keep this simple. OK. How much money mm -hmm. do you think you have to put on Bayern Munich mm -hmm. to win $1? How much money? Yep. $100. Uh, let's take a look at how the bookies have things set regarding who is going to win the Bundesliga this season. $50. OK. $50 to right. win a dollar is how they have it set. But I think 100 to 1 on was pretty fair, to be honest. <laughs> uh, Borussia Dortmund uh, at, at 18 to 1. Uh, yeah, and I suppose, I suppose the thing is, how is it going to change? Well, the, the thing is that it's not going to change. Uh, because, uh, I mean, you need a balance in your team, you know. Uh, if, you, if you see Bayern, if you see the, the core line, because they want to compare themselves with Bayern, you will have Neuer, you will have some good defenders, Sule then and again, a bit sloppy, and there are Pavard is sloppy then and again. But you have Goretzka, Kimmich, Müller, you have uh, Koeman can come from the bench, you have Lewandowski scoring goals for fun. What, what, do, what do they have at Dortmund? They have Hummels, who is perfect going forward, doing these outside passes, world-class, but can't defend. You have Chan, Witzel, they are too slow. So then you're left with a 21-year-old Norwegian, an 18-year-old Englishman, and sometimes an 18-year-old Ameri American to be the leaders in the team. How can you then survive? Ask yourself, how many Dortmund players would be good enough for the first 11 uh, by Bayern? And people will say, yeah, we can't say that. Well, you can say that if you want to compare the two biggest teams in, in, Ger in Germany. And then you have Leipzig, you're going to challenge them. They're losing to Bielefeld at home. <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with Bayern. Bayern are doing their Bayern stuff. They're winning football games, developing players, getting young players in as well. It's the other teams that got to have a look at themselves, what are they doing? Because that game today at Dortmund in Berlin, that is the worst I've ever seen Dortmund play, and I've seen him in some bad games. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.